We do thank you so much for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Sasha Loftus. New details tonight on the security guard accused of killing a man in the Northwest Valley. Metro police say Brian Love shot the person who was sleeping in a parking lot early Saturday morning. 8 News Now reporter Darlene Melendez joins us live now from the Clark County Detention Center with the latest on this suspect. Darlene. Well, Sasha, 26 year old Brian Love is held here at the Clark County Detention Center on murder charges. We spoke with some of his neighbors today. They said they could not believe it. Mr. Love, um, good afternoon. Brian Love stands behind a glass window as he appeared in court for the first time Sunday morning. A judge reviewed your case and determined there was probable cause to hold you on the charge of open murder. With the use of a deadly weapon. Police say the 26 year old killed a sleeping homeless man at a Northwest shopping center near the 215 in Decatur, where Love is a security guard. He's just a quiet guy that he just kind of goes around and, you know, goes in and comes out like anybody who works. Devin Peck lives just feet away from Love at the same apartment complex where police found and arrested him Saturday. They, they had cop cars all through the complex. At one point, I thought I heard them say, you know, we know you. Here. Revealed in court, Love reportedly walked up to the man sleeping on the sidewalk early Saturday morning and shot at him as many as 15 times. And certainly, this seems to be an overkill situation. The shopping center's property manager says there aren't security cameras outside the building, and according to investigators, Love never called 911, so the man's body wasn't found until hours later. That's really cold blooded. Wow, that really put shivers up your spine. Gosh. That just shows you, you never know who your neighbor is. You don't, you just really don't. And Brian Love's public defender did ask for bail this morning, but the judge uh, ordered that Love stay here at the Clark County Detention Center at least until his next hearing. That is scheduled for Tuesday. Anyone with information on this case, however, is urged to contact police or Crime Stoppers where you can remain anonymous. Reporting live from the Clark County Detention Center, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.